everybody welcome back with the platform platypus is the name and welcome to another sort of convalaria video it is almost here it might even be here by the time you're watching this video i don't know but the first major event is here and this is pretty there's a lot going on here there's a lot of content it's going to be really fun i'm gonna kind of just go over it with you um i don't i haven't completed the event right i mean it just is coming out now um, but I have early access, so you might want to consider this video sponsored. I'm not being paid to do it, but I am on a test server that gives me some early access to look at the stuff. That way I can give you the information and you can plan ahead of time. So let's jump into it. So once you're in here, you can see it's going to last from 8.15 until 9.10. So almost a month, which is going to be great because the shop is pretty good. So we'll go into the shop in a second, but first, what actually is it? You're going to go into the event theater and there's going to be acts. There's a bunch of acts. And this is mostly story elements and puzzles. These are very um, handcrafted levels. These aren't just like random fights and stuff you do. These are scripted in a lot of ways. And they've been interesting. So when you start here, like this is actually a really cool way to start. Your character goes around like you're in combat. But his only skill is the ability to chat. So you go around and talk to everybody. But like in a combat setting. Very, very cool. We got some story. This one here is literally a quiz, you versus someone else. You just got to answer enough um, in order to progress. This one I just did, defeat all the enemies. It, this is like you have a, a bunch of uh, units and they have a bunch of units and you're just kind of fighting each other. Not quite chess, but it is a bunch of units that are like generic units on both sides. And it was really, really fun. Um, and then there's probably going to be more and more events like that. The reason I came here is because once you get to act four, you unlock the Elysium training. So twice a day, you're going to get bonus rewards, right? Extra rewards. Um, as you can see here, I haven't done it, but basically you're going to go through these stages. They're going to probably start easy. And then by down here, they're probably going to be pretty darn hard um, to be honest, but you are going to first time you do it, you're going to get some rewards. This cake is going to be used for the currency shop. And then you are going to be getting kind of good stuff there. I don't know if there's a reason to three star it. I assume it's just because it lets you sweep and that is like faster. Um, but this is going to be your main stamina dump for a little while here. Maybe not forever. Oh, there's even a recommended button. What is that? Oh, here we go. So character drop bonus means you use the following characters to clear the state and you gain extra resources. So if you have Gloria, which hopefully most people do, um, then you're going to get 50% bonus cake. And then Edda is also going to give you 50% bonus cake. However, you know, you are going to be able to use, uh, some of your free to play characters as well. And even you could use all the, uh, night guard, uh, yellows as well so you're going to get a lot of bonus it's going to be pretty easy to i don't know how easy it is going to be to clear out the shop but i think this is going to be easier than it looks when we first take a look at it but yeah you're going to see you go here first time you're going to clear this out you're going to do it and then do it at least probably two times a day on the highest stage you can but then i'm probably going to sink a lot of stamina in here just to get through the rewards however it's not just there you are going to be able to get event rewards and um lots of achievements you know complete different acts extra conditions these will be a little bit easier to uh probably complete for a lot of people because this is going to be mostly designed and then we even get this here um we get a, in the memorial shop can be exchanged for items in the memorial shop also the quests bunch of stuff here right i mean it's mostly to get the cake so what are you getting all this cake for right you're doing all this you are getting some resources but what you're getting all this cake what's the cake for let's go look at the exchange shop so first Two things to notice. One, exchange ends in 14 days. You notice that? However, the event itself is much longer than 14 days. Meaning to me, it seems like this event will have two parts. Either maybe we have all the content now, but it seems like you will be able, this shop will probably appear twice or something like that. Or there'll be a phase one shop and a phase two shop. So I believe you, because in 14 days, the event is longer than 14 days. It's about twice that long. So we're probably going to get two of these. Highlights here, of course, four summons. This is a little lame, honestly. I really wish it was a multi. I would love to get a multi um, here, but it's okay. It's not the worst thing. It is four free summons. Highlights, though. Castilla, this shit is good. You want it. You want enough. One is a little low. I would have liked to see two, uh, maybe, you know, two to three, something like that. Um, but still, this is obviously a highlight. This is pretty good, too. These are pretty sick. These are going to be pretty cheap to get, like... Would you rather get one individual summon or a guaranteed legendary item? Two legendary weapons and a legendary piece of armor. I mean, these are really good. Like, I love this shot. 
And then, you know, random legendary whispers. I'm iffy on these because they're so frequently bad. I would not start here, but then you're going to come down here. You're going to get your resources highlight right here. All right. The radiant powder. I'm going to, I might go through after a couple days and really do a breakdown of everything you should be getting in the shop, what you should prioritize. Um, but honestly, radiant ore is pretty good too, but at 50 bucks a pop and a hundred of them, this is going to be one of the later things. Radiant powder though. Make sure you're picking up radiant power. Um, and then there's, I mean, it's just a good shop. It's not incredible, but it is good, which is awesome. So you got the event quest. Also, another thing worth noting in the Elysium training is at least in this first stage here, you significant, you significantly enhance the character attributes of Gloria and Etta. So this is big on the Gloria and Etta stuff. If you don't have them, it's going to be a little sash, but it's okay. Um, it's not the end of the world, but really quick before we leave, let's take a look at this memorial shop here. So this is going to be cosmetic stuff, right? I mean, don't get me wrong. This is really cool. I love this. And actually, I love that they give us these kinds of things because like I'm going to try to clear as much of this out as I can. Um, but it's just it's a nice little reward as well, right? So you're going to be getting some cool little cosmetic things in addition to all the rewards. Sorry, more cuts than normal because I'm not allowed to show you everything that's in this mode because it's not it's subject to change. But this says it's coming tomorrow. So or to, you know, I'm recording this the day before. But yeah, so that's the event. Honestly, I was kind of very impressed a lot of times when i play events and games like this it'll have a story segment and then do a bunch of generic stages and then a story segment and a bunch of generic stages every one of these stages was interesting and totally different it was either a puzzle or it was a quiz or it was building lore and uh you know rapport between characters or it was like a fun fight every single one of these has been very good so far and there's a bunch of them so i'm excited to get through the rest of them um, on my main account when the game actually drops and then they even do have the, hopefully these are pretty good combat stages. I don't know, you know, defeat all enemies, but this is the more, this is the grindy side of it, right? After you kind of get the one off of the cool stuff, when you're trying to clear out the shop, this is the kind of stuff you're going to be doing. What is the, uh, how good is it? I don't know yet. We'll have to see exactly after I actually get my hands on the event, but this is what's going on. And yeah, I hope you're excited for this because I know I am. This is a big event. Finally, I'm very excited to have something major like this to kind of, I love having event shops and exchange shops to get free items. You know, that's like my thing. I'm like, I can spend stamina and guarantee legendary items, guarantee summons, guarantee this. Um, I love it. So yeah, let me know what you think about this event. Um, the, the, what's the story of the event is I didn't even mention it cause I don't really care. Uh, she is throwing a grand, uh, banquet to welcome her new friends to Elysium. And so it's kind of just a campy feel good. Everyone chatting with each other and having a good time. And then, Apparently, some monkey wrenches get thrown in there. But yeah, that's all for this one, guys. Thank you very much. For Platypus is for Platypus. I'll see you in the next one. See you on the flip flops. Bye! Platypus on the rise. Watch the news go up. Content King, never down. Always showing up. Hitting milestones. The fame never lets up. Click that link.